Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, so I'm just going to give a, a, a short update on, on the trainee involvement. Um, can we move on to the next slide, please, Maddie? So since the study opened, we've had engagement of over 200 trainees across almost 50 sites across the whole of the UK, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Um, next slide, please. So why is the trainee engagement important? I think we've covered a lot of this actually in, in our discussions, but there are benefits for the conduct of the study itself. So um, benefits in terms of approaching and recruiting patients, um, looking at eligibility criteria and completing the paperwork as well. Trainees are also really resourceful. So in terms of getting MRCPs done and, and liaising with radiology, they're very good at doing that. Um, I think, as we've discussed, um, the communication with other consultants is, is something that may be absolutely pivotal um, in optimising um, getting as many patients on board as possible. Um, we can also cover, trainees can also cover when the PI is away and when research uh, nurse support is limited, which may be particularly important during COVID um, at the moment. Um, and trainees are also really used to uh, taking part in collaborative research now. Uh, and that means that ch um, changeover and handover periods can be relatively smooth. Um, next slide, please, Maddie. Um, but to be honest, it's the engagement of um, us being able to recruit the uh, emergency patients that has been absolutely fantastic. As you can see from this slide, research nurses have recruited the most across both um, elective and emergency groups. But in terms of the emergency patients, trainees are almost on a par with the research nurses and well ahead of the consultants, which I think is extremely impressive and will, in the end, contribute to the overall, overall generalizability of the study. Can we go to the next slide, please, Maddie? So apart from there being obvious benefits to the study itself, there are benefits to the trainee uh, as well. GCP is now a requirement for CCT, so this is a good opportunity to tick that box. Um, you also get first-hand experience of being involved in a large pragmatic trial and recruiting patients. And we hope that this will inspire trainees to become future PIs and potentially CIs uh, as well. And it's very possible that some of the networks that are developed may be very beneficial to the trainees themselves in the future and in developing future studies as well. It of course looks great on, on one CV uh, and it's an opportunity to develop your leadership, teamwork and um, communication skills as well. Um, the other thing that I'll talk about very shortly is the opportunity to contribute to the spin-off projects. Obviously this is a large study and over the course of the next few years there will be other projects that will emerge from the main study. So this is something that trainees can um, actively lead on. Um, the associate PI scheme, we, we've, I think we've heard a lot about it now in the discussions and the benefits. I'll, I'll briefly just, just summarise um, what the um, associate PI scheme is all about and how to get involved. Can we move on to the next slide, please, Maddie? So the purpose of it is to develop junior doctors, allied health professionals and nurses to become PIs of the future. The scheme's been endorsed by the Royal College of Surgeons. And what I think is fantastic is within Sunflower, we've already got 52 trainees uh, registered as associate PIs which is by far the largest number across all NIHR funded surgical studies across the UK. It's a great achievement. Um, next slide, please. So it's very easy to get involved. You need to just speak to your local PI and then register centrally with the NIHR. Um, learn a little bit more about the scheme and they'll send you a checklist um, which you'll need to complete uh, various tasks across a minimum, minimum period of six months. Um, and once you've completed this period, um, that will go back to the PI to ensure that you have adequately engaged. And if so, then you'll be signed off and you'll get your certificate uh, and then more trainees can get involved um, that way. Next slide, please. So for further information, um, just contact any of us anytime, uh, in particular, Jane, um, who has done a fantastic job